everyone, I'm Sarah and this is Budget Sew, so, where we create stylish, fashionable looks as inexpensively as possible. Today, I'm going to show you my Vogue sewing pattern haul from Simplicity.com. If you like this video, please subscribe to Budget Sew so, and follow me on social media at Budget Sew. So. Just a quick note before we get started, today I'm wearing Vogue 8408. The link to the video with that dress is right here at the top of the screen. There was a sale on Vogue patterns on the Simplicity.com website and all Vogue patterns were $5.99. These patterns were such a great price because they usually sell for $25 to $36, so I stocked up. These are mostly separate patterns that I can use to build a capsule wardrobe. The first pattern is Vogue 1803 from 2021. This very loose fitting bias cut dress has a split front neck with gathers, a shaped stand collar, raglan sleeves with button cuffs, high side slits, side seam pockets, and stitched hems. The suggested fabrics are linen, poplin, seersucker, chalet, and the pockets may be lined with lining fabrics. This pattern is for my mom. I love this pattern, but I didn't buy it because it reminded me of my English smock folkwear pattern that I bought off Amazon.ca. I thought that I could lengthen the smock for a similar look. The link to my Amazon sewing haul video where I purchased the English smock dress and tunic pattern is right here at the top of the screen. The next pattern is Vogue 1758 from 2021. This loose fitting lined jacket and vest have a self felt, thread carriers, front patch pockets, sleeve and length variations. View A is mid thigh length and sleeveless with dropped shoulder cuffs and view B is mid calf length with side slits and long sleeves. The pants have a semi fitted hip, an elastic waist, side seam pockets and stitched hems. The suggested fabrics are medium weight woolens, gabardine and crepe and the lining should be made from lining fabric. One 7 eighths of an inch button is required for the jacket and vest. The pants need one and a half yards of one inch elastic. I have a thing for vests right now and I bought a few McCall's vests as well. There are so many ways to style a vest. You can pair it with matching pants to achieve a coordinated look or throw it over a long sleeve top for an added dimension or with a bold skirt for a night out or with denim for a more casual feel. This pattern does not come with a top pattern, but I'm going to make up the clear top from the fall winter 2022-2024 issue of My Image because it's so similar. Next I have Vogue 1904 published in 2022. This is a Today's Fit by Sandra Betzina pattern for a dress and a tunic. The dress and tunic have set in sleeves, front darts, a contrast yoke, and sleeve ruffles. View A has one patch pocket. View A and B have neck bands, a front placket with snaps or optional buttons, stitched hems, and optional ribbon trim. The suggested fabrics for dress A are double border prints and top B drapey rayons. The contrast for views A and B is sheer mesh. I love how bold this pattern is with the contrasting fabrics and trims. I also love the curved front yoke. It'll be a challenge to sew, but I'm looking forward to it. Then there's Vogue 9181, a very easy Vogue pattern from 2021. The below waist bootleg pants that are fitted through the hips have a slightly shaped front button waistband and a mock fly zipper. View C has belt loops. Separate pattern pieces are included for flat, standard, and curvy fits. The suggested fabrics are wool gabardine, wool crepe, and stretch wovens. 
I was looking for a new pants pattern and this one fits the bill. Brad says that these are Sarah pants, so they should be fun to make and wear. To wear over the Sarah pants in autumn, I chose Vogue 1840. This very loose fitting, unlined jacket has a dual separating front zipper, raglan sleeves with continuous lap opening ending in button cuffs, an inside drawstring waist, side seam pockets, stitched hems, and length variations. View A has a large pointed collar with collar stand and View B has a self-lined hood with a drawstring. The recommended fabrics are synthetic leather, gabardine, wool crepe, and water repellent fabric. Two 5 8 of an inch buttons are required for all views as well as a quarter of an inch cord. You'll need one and three quarters of a yard for view A and three and three quarter yards for view B. View A needs one 24 inch dual separating zipper and view B needs one 36 dual separating zipper and two eyelets. I love the longer version in olive green. It gives me Berta style vibes. The next pattern is a very easy Vogue. It's 9090 from 2021. This pleated skirt in three lengths has lined yokes, side pockets, a stitched hem, and a back zipper. The suggested fabrics are lightweight denim, linen, poplin, and satin. I like the design of the pleats and the skirt is extra roomy with pockets. I was sold. I think that this skirt pattern will look quite nice with the next pattern, Vogue 1937 that was published in 2023. This is a Today's Fit by Sandra Betzina pattern for a dress and tunic. The pleated front A-line dress or tunic has a back yoke. The dress has side seam pockets, a contrast collar and cuffs, and hem facings. The tunic has lantern sleeves, contrast upper sleeves, yoke lining and hem facing stitched to the outside, and purchased fringe trim. The suggested fabrics are heavyweight rayon crepe, three or four ply silk, and drapey knits. I like that the wide center front pleat allows the garment to hang close to the body and it was advertised to be very flattering for all figures. I'm looking forward to rummaging through my fabrics and trims to find the perfect ones. Then there's Vogue 9361, a very easy Vogue pattern. These semi-fitted pants have a fly front, a flared leg, and waistband pocket and length variations. View A has a button waistband, welt pockets, and a cropped length. View B has side seam pockets and a button waistband. View C has a hook and bar waistband closure and front yoke pockets. These pants flatter all figures. The suggested fabrics are gabardine, crepe, and denim. Views A and B require three 1 inch or 2.5 centimeter buttons. The pattern envelope indicated that view C needs three pairs of hook and eyes, but the instructions show two sets of hook and bar closures. I think that if I made these pants out of a lightweight polyester, they could be quite flowy and almost look like a skirt. Next there's Vogue 1966, a vintage Vogue pattern for a jacket and pants from 1975. The semi-fitted, partially lined jacket has a pointed collar on a shaped band, epaulets with carriers and button trim, front and back yokes, patch pockets with flaps, side slits, short sleeves with turn back cuffs or full length sleeves pleated into a button band cuff, a front button simulated band closing, 
and top stitching. The wide leg, straight leg pants are darted into a waistband with belt carriers. They have western pockets, a mock fly front closing, and top stitching. The pattern envelope is shown with purchase tops and a belt. This authentic vintage reproduction includes additional size options and cutting layouts. The recommended fabrics are chino, corduroy, denim, double knits, duck, flannel, gabardine, linen, pinwheel corduroy, and poplin, and the lining should be lining fabric. The jacket requires 5 eighths of an inch or 1.5 centimeter buttons, 13 for view A and 9 for view B. The pants need a 7 inch or 18 centimeter zipper size 2 hooks and eyes, and a 1 inch or 2.5 centimeter belt. I'm a big fan of 1970s sewing patterns and I was thrilled that Vogue issued this reproduction. I'm always on the hunt for vintage patterns, but I love when the pattern companies reissue older patterns. I love all the special features on the jacket and pants, such as the epaulettes and western pockets as well as the interesting shape of the sleeve, pattern piece number 18. The final pattern is Vogue 1050. This pattern shows that it was published in 2021, but I know that this pattern is much older than that. I remember going to Fabricland and looking at this pattern in the Vogue pattern book around 2008, so it's not a new pattern, but it's new to my collection. If you know the original publication date of Vogue 1050, please let me know in the comments below. These Today's Fit by Sandra Betzina cropped or full length pants have slightly flared pant legs, a waistband with elastic at the sides, and a back zipper. View B has a contrast pleat underlay at the sides and may, or may be made with or without contrast trim inserts. The recommended optional side closures are tie ends, purchase frog closures, or bar tacks. The suggested fabrics are lightweight crepe, lightweight twill, and tissue fail. Both views require either a seven or nine inch invisible zipper and three quarters of a yard of one inch elastic. Optional for view B are six frogs. I like that these pants have the elasticized waist at the sides only for a smooth front look that is very flattering. The eighth issue of Fashion Trends that was published in 2023 has some great top and blouse patterns to pair with all these beautiful Vogue skirts and pants. On page 23, this top pattern is perfect for quickly throwing on and being perfectly dressed. It's made from a soft jersey that is pleasant on the skin and it also has a slight sheen. It has elasticized cuffs, a high double collar, and a wide hem. Then on page 26 is the classic blouse. Whether elegant, classy, or as a replacement for a jacket, there's more to it than just having one of these in your closet. And these three models show how diverse they can be made from different materials. The blouse has a wide cuff with three buttons, a collar, and a button placket. This first blouse made from viscose crepe is easy to sew. If you want it to be perfect, pay attention to the check when cutting. Be sure to pattern match. The second version made from a viscose elastin jersey is very casual and boasts an unusual animal print. Flowers, graphic elements, and a beautiful shine. This blouse is made of viscose satin and looks extremely good as a light jacket over a party dress. Finally, on page 36 is a long sleeve blouse with cuffs and has a four button placket. It can be worn with a tie in the front or as a scarf draped loosely at the back. This blouse is made of soft viscose elastin jersey. 
The sporty polo shirt provides an interesting contrast to the playful bow tie scarf. This can be styled in a variety of ways. I ordered this issue of Fashion Trends from the craftery.de website. It's a German website with publications in German. From knitting magazines to crochet instructions to painting and drawing books. Find your favorite magazines and booklets and instructions and inspiration as well as ideas on your favorite DIY topics. Whether you want to order it as a single issue or as a subscription, you can choose exactly the type of product you like on Craftery. When subscribing, you can decide whether you want to order it from the previous issue, the current issue, or only from the next issue. On my order from Craftery, I found all the German sewing pattern magazines. And I ordered them individually rather than as a subscription. I ordered Fashion Trends 8 of 2023. I ordered May Trends number 3 of 2023. I ordered May Trends number 7 of 2021. Uh, Diana Moden number 88. Minen Maymode of 2023, issue number four. And Minen Maymode Hanshula, a special edition to make gloves. Each one of these magazines is absolutely gorgeous. I hope you enjoyed my Vogue sewing pattern haul from simplicity.com. Subscribe to Budget Sew for more great videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.